Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. So in today's video, I'm going to share it with you this beautiful, gorgeous party makeup tutorial with emerald green eyes and beautiful nude lips. So I basically created this look for this Diwali, but I couldn't upload it because of some reason. So I'm sharing with you right now and you can basically wear this look in any parties, any marriage ceremonies or anywhere you go. This is I think absolutely stunning. So without further ado, let's get started. First I'm starting with my brows, for that I'm using this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown and I'm just filling up the gaps and sparse areas. I'm following my natural brow shape. I uploaded my eyebrow routine some weeks ago. You can check that out if you want. Now with the spoolie, I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in light medium beige and with a smaller lip brush from Puna Store. I'm just going to clean up the borders. I love doing this step whenever I'm doing a party makeup. Though I do not follow it in a day to day basis but yeah whenever I am doing a party makeup I just do this step. I'm also applying the concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow application. Then again I'm blending it out. Now I'm using this Varat and Doris loose powder in number 07 and I'm just setting the concealer before it starts to crease. Now I'm taking this lighter brown shade from my Makeup Revolution Visionary palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color and again I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation. Now I'm taking this beautiful green color from my BH Cosmetics take me back to Brazil palette and with this elf brush I'm just applying it on my crease again I'm taking little by little product and I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation because I do not want any patchiness whenever you are playing with darker colors take little by little product and just build it up Now with a clean blending brush, I'm just blending everything out. Now I'm taking this dark brown shade and I'm just intensifying my outer V area. Now I'm taking this gorgeous emerald green eyeshadow. This is by L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Golden Emerald and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. This is a stunning color. It's shimmery but it's not glittery and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm taking the same brown color and I'm just applying it on my outer V area so that there is a smooth transition. I'm going to finish my face makeup first then I will return to my eye makeup again. For my primer, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck. I moisturized my face half an hour ago, so I'm not moisturizing my face again. You should moisturize your face at least half an hour before applying anything on top. For my foundation, I'm going to apply this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in Warm Beige and I'm just buffing it in using this Puna Store Kabuki brush. This is a full coverage foundation and I do not apply any color corrector whenever I am applying this foundation. Now for highlighting and concealing I am again using this Wet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just 
applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the bridge of my nose center of my forehead chin cupid bow side of my mouth and just under where i'm going to place my contour next then i'm just again blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge by studio 35 Now if you have been following for a while, you must know that I like to blend my under eye concealer later because this way it gets some time to settle down and it gives better coverage. Now with the same beauty sponge, I am just setting my concealed areas using the same Varathan Doris loose powder. Now with a fluffier powder brush, I am just setting my face and neck very lightly now for contouring i'm just using this wet and wild contour palette in caramel toffee and i'm just contouring my face like jawline hollows of my cheeks forehead and my nose now this step i like to do it a lot i'm taking the banana powder from the contour palette and with this brush i'm just brightening up my under eyes you can see the difference but take a little bit of product not too much now for my blush i'm using this milani baked blush in luminoso and i'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks and i'll be blending it out with my contour This gives a very nice glow. For my highlighting, I'm going to use this Wet and Wild Contour Powder in Precious Petals. And with this ELF highlighting brush, I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, bridge of my nose, center of my forehead. This is probably my favorite drugstore highlighter. Now to finish my eye makeup, I'm first using this Jordana Isline eyeliner pencil and I'm just applying it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with it. Now I'm taking the same emerald green eyeshadow and I'm just applying it on the inner two third areas of my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the same brown eyeshadow that I applied on my outer V area and I'm just smoking it out a bit. Now, I'm using this Maybelline gel eyeliner and with a dried fill tip eyeliner, I'm just creating a nice thick wing. I'm elongating my inner corners just a bit as you can see. Eyes are almost done. Now I will be applying falsies for that I am just preparing my natural lashes by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. This is wet and wild makeup length mascara and the eyelash color that I used was from Vega. I'm coating my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm highlighting my brow bones and inner corners with the same highlighter. I forgot to highlight my brow bones and inner corners. That's why I'm doing it now. For my lashes, I'm using this Demi Lashes by Adel, Natural Demi Lashes, I believe, yes, these are really stunning. 
my lipstick i'm going to use this milani color statement matte lipstick in matte tender these lipsticks are you guys so good and look at the color this is a mixture of coral pink and brown yes and this color is gorgeous it reminds me a lot of lacme 9 to 5 scarlet lipstick that used to be my all-time favorite during my college days stunning now i'm using this wet and wild natural finish makeup setting spray to set my makeup and this is done so so here is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you have any video request then feel free to comment down below i'll be more than happy to make it for you and please stay tuned because i will come up with several makeup tutorials pretty soon and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter then please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please check that out so yeah see you in my next video till then bye and take care